hearing will come to order. Let me um, apologize for uh, the lateness of the beginning of the hearing. We are going to actually have another vote in about 10 or 15 minutes. At, uh, at, however, uh, knowing the schedule of our of our witness, uh, we um, will proceed to hear his statement, and then uh, following his statement, we will adjourn for uh, a few minutes to have the rest of the testimony. So let me just welcome you, uh, Mr. Glover. It's always a pleasure to be with you. I will not take time to read your very outstanding uh, background. Most of us know it, but it's always a pleasure to be with you. And with that, I'll uh, yield the time to you. And thank you very much for coming. Uh, now push that little button in front of you on that mic. I think there's a. There we go. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank Chairman. You. And also representatives uh, Watson and representative Woolsey. Uh, thank you for inviting me to speak on the highly important issue of vulture funds. I come today as the chairman of the board of Trans Africa Forum to address an issue that is at the forefront of my work. The primary goal of Trans Africa Forum is to promote progressive U.S. foreign policy toward Africa and the diaspora, including the 150 million Afro descendants who are citizens of countries throughout this hemisphere. For more than three decades, impoverished countries throughout Africa and Latin America have suffered under a massive crippling debt burden that has prevented sustainable growth, poverty alleviation, and economic development. Citizens and global society have fought tirelessly for debt relief and cancellation. Rich nations and international financial institutions have begun debt relief regimes that have provided a chance for impoverished countries to start fresh and allocate desperately needed additional resources to health and education programs. These debt relief mechanisms include the highly indebted Poor Countries Initiatives, commonly known as HIPC, and the G8's Multilateral Debt Relief Initiative, MDRI. Given the tremendous extent and scale of indebtedness of poor countries, we still have a long way to go to overhaul the international debt architecture and to tip the balance toward concrete, sustainable development. However, some progress has been made in relieving the debt crisis. In response to the global action and pressure, the United States under President Bush has also made a commitment to fight global hunger and to support debt relief. But as we advocate for debt relief, there are companies that seek to profit from it instead. These vulture funds swoop in and seize the now freed resources in the process destroying the benefits that international debt relief has offered. Vulture funds are companies and individuals who administer company business that buy the defaulted debt of highly indebted and poor nations and then seek repayment, often by suing these governments through courts in multiple jurisdictions, including the United States, for, for the full value of the debt plus interest garnering such high paybacks. The action of these vulture funds often convert the benefits of international relief into private corporate gain, obstructing the process of securing debt relief for, for some countries and prohibiting others who have attained debt relief from investing their funds in much needed development. Through this privatization of national debt, increased misery is in, in, inflicted on the lives of millions of people across the developing world. Since 1999, HIPC countries have been threatened with or subject to legal actions by vulture funds. 
the indebted countries have almost always lost in the courtrooms. Recently, vulture funds have targeted the country of Zambia, which qualified for G8, G8 debt cancellation in 2005. This is very significant because in Zambia, over 70% of the population lives in poverty. The average wage is just under a dollar day, a day. One in five people are infected with HIV AIDS and life expectancy has dropped to 37.7 years according to the 2006 UNDP Human Development Report. But the nation was sued by Donoco International Limited, a private US owned company registered in the British uh, Virgin Islands for $55 million. This amount stands in stark contrast to the $3.28 million Donoco paid Romania for Zambia's debt. In April this year, the Royal Courts of Justice in London ordered the Zambian government to pay Donoco $15.5 million. That means that Zambia will pay Donoco more than a third of what they received through the HIPC and the G8, G8 debt relief process this year. This vulture fund has stripped Zan Zambia of a sum of money that could have provided free education for over 150,000 children. With firms like Donoco working hard to protect the business of the rich, how can civil society and the US government protect the children of the countries who will still face the devastation of vulture funds? The morally bankrupt actions of vulture funds render the commitments of the debt relief made by the US, the United States, and other wealthy nations meaningless. We urge the international community to come up with an effective means to protect countries pursued by vulture funds in the future. At the coming G8 summit, President Bush should call for commitments by world leaders to address vulture funds. These commitments could include international remedies preventing vulture funds from buying faulty debt and suing for repayment. And here in the United States, Congress should pass legislation to prevent vulture funds from buying and collecting faulty debts. Moreover, the international community must work together to put in place fair and transparent international debt resolution mechanisms while also creating an international financial architecture that promotes sustainable growth and takes, takes cues from civil society. In the short term, we urge the US government to, to assist countries currently facing legal action by providing them with free legal and financial advice. In addition, the US Treasury should follow the example of the UK Chancellor Gordon Brown in pursuing means to limit the damage done by vulture funds. As chairman of the Board of Trans-Africa Forum, I vow to work with our civil society partners and members of this committee to help create a legislative vehicle that can stop vulture funds from devouring African and Latin American economic progress. Thank you very much, sir. Well, let me um, thank you very much for uh, that powerful presentation, and we will look forward to working uh, with you and TransAfrica and the other groups uh, that have a concern about this issue. Uh, I raised the point, as I mentioned, when we returned to President Clinton uh, the morning that I heard it uh, on um, Democracy Now! President Bush, rather. Uh, and, uh, and so we will definitely be dealing with this. I know you have to um, get a plane, but I would uh, once again like to thank you. Thank uh, normally you. we would ask you a question or two, but we're gonna let you run. We have a vote that's coming up in about three or four minutes, so we'll have to leave too. So we'll adjourn uh, and we'll be back uh, sh following this uh, next vote. And uh, thank you very much. It's good right. to see you again, it's sir. Good to see you. Yes, sir. Good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you.